Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Whew. Today we're going to have a conversation about control. It's so funny. I literally hear in my head the Janet Jackson song, Control. Okay, so some of you, that might be like, not in your wheelhouse, so take a minute to Google it up or look it up on YouTube and see control. The energy of control is something that I think our mind really buys into and really thinks is just this great, wonderful thing. And the truth is, it doesn't really exist. I hate to burst your bubble, but control does not exist. It's not even real. There's this false narrative around the idea of control, which is to create this presence of what we perceive to be safety, security, a structure that gives us a understanding of how to act, how to be, what to expect, and really Control is something that isn't even possible in our human form. And I don't know if it's possible in our spiritual form because I haven't been just pure spirit without a body. I can tell you, though, that part of our human mind experience wants to, our human mind really wants to help contain and understand what's happening in our human experience. And it uses a concept or idea of control in order to help do that. So control isn't a bad thing, not at all, but it really is getting at our root core desire to feel secure, to feel safe, and to have known, to know things. And again, this kind of leads into the idea or the concept of the unknown, which is really upsetting, which is really off-putting as we've seen with the pandemic experience. The unknown creates so much fear and so much anxiety and gives this ambiguity space that provides the opportunity for so many different stories and so many different spins on things that we don't know what's fact and what's fiction. And some people don't even care about the difference between the two. It's more about the feelings, not fact or fiction, but it's about feeling, feelings, which is why the amplification of being an empath or being a hard intuitive has become so much a priority and so very important and acknowledged and recognizable to so many people at this time. So how does an empath deal with control? Are you or do you find yourself being a control freak? Ooh, 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 ooh. Is that a hot spot? Control freak? The need for control is really this desire for an assemblance of order in order to be able to process or understand things that are happening and also to provide a level of security. We've established that, safety and security. However, it doesn't exist. So if control actually doesn't exist or it's this unattainable thing, then where does that leave us? How can we be comfortable? How can we be safe? How can we know for sure? Well, you can't. There's no such thing as control. It's an illusion. And you can't ever be 100% sure of anything. Because there is always room for change, for shift, for things like free will, for things like the unexpected, for newer opportunities to bubble up, for you to become more aware of something that you haven't been aware of before, a new level of thinking a new or deeper, broader understanding, which creates different opportunities, which promotes change, which is not anything related to control. Change is not controlled. It's not even close. Change is more of an art. And it's a constant, fluid part of life, like breath, like air, like being. Uh, The energy of control is quite a bit like certainty. And I know that for myself, I want to be certain. I want to know for sure. I want to be present and able to process and understand the life that is happening around me. I want to be able to engage and be part of fully this life that we're gifted. And I know that I have to release control in order to do that. In addition, the concepts that we create 
in order to establish a false sense of security or reality, isn't to be judged, isn't to be compared. It is simply to be acknowledged and to know. There is no way to know for sure. So the idea of control is a myth. It sets you up for disappointment, for misunderstanding. So let's try to shift this, our relationship with our needs for certainty. And to not misunderstand that safety can't exist only unless there is certainty. That's not true. You can be safe and and have a fluid life experience and allow for change to happen. And you can be safe during times of change. Certainty, if you can allow yourself to be loose and flexible with what that actually means, it doesn't have to be tied to an outcome. It can simply be part of your process, part of the bigger picture, the grand plan, the incredible experience that you're on this journey, the adventure of life. So let us take a moment here to breathe and be with an understanding. Let's deepen our understanding of the energy of control. This is not something that we can rely on. We can't depend on control. We can't depend on the old ways of thinking and doing. We cannot look to a false sense of security because now is the time as an empath for you to step into a broader, greater, more connected and a whole understanding of how the world works, soul to soul, energy being to energy being, to see one another with the power and the freedom and the flexibility that we can only have when we are sovereign, when we are able to make clear choices, when we are amplified in our oneness and yet brought together by solidarity. None of these things can occur when there is this constant strive for control or this need for control. It does not exist. It cannot coexist. In a place where the spirit longs to be free, not free from the body or the mind, but free, free to do and express and to feel, to connect with your heart and your mind and your body. The soul desires freedom and expression. The soul craves for the spontaneity and the moments of opportunity that come when there is not containment, confinement, and restriction. These are byproducts of control. Misunderstood, yet still elements that do not support your spiritual growth and your personal development. In order for you to truly be free, to be who you are, to live your life on purpose, you must recognize that control is a false narrative. It is an old story that does not help you expand and grow and reach your limitless potential, but it holds you back. And not just you, but everyone else that buys into the structure the need for this secure, restricted life wherein control is the goal, 
And it is also the process or the way. Control is temporary. It is short term. It is not withstanding. It has no longevity. It cannot bring you to the promised land that you desire. It cannot gift you your dreams, your hopes and your wishes. For those are manifestations that come only when the soul can be free to express, to experience, to live life. Now, I do not know what to tell you as far as advice about how to get there, how to do that, how to achieve that freedom that the soul desires and yearns for and longs for and needs, so deeply needs for its fulfillment of life on purpose. I don't know how to tell you how to do it because you are unique. You are an individual. And as such, you have your own unique formulas, different dreams and hopes that are strung together to create your life, vision, purpose, and mission. But it's not about knowing how to get there. It's about knowing that there is a worthwhile, worthy purpose. And it's not about restriction, containment, or confinement like control. It's about freedom and expression and expansion. And it is real. It is very, very real. And I know it, it's in your heart. Touch your heart right now. Just put your hand on your heart and take a breath in. And it exhale out. <sighs> and rest in the knowing that in your heart you are truly free with the wisdom of your soul to light your way, softening the energy of the mind to invite it in, to include it in the freedom of expression of creativity and imagination and hope for the future. Hold a higher vision, expand your thinking, open your mind, and be here and present for the now. Nice breath in. <sighs> Big exhale out, yes. And I hope that your spirit feels inspired today as you listen and filled with hope, the light of hope. And remember, this is your life after all, and you get to live it. Just live it. This is Bridget. Thanks for being here on this Sunday morning coffee podcast episode. If you're looking for me, trying to connect, find me on social media, at Bridget Inspired on Instagram, Bridget Inspired on Facebook, Above Life Channel on Facebook, and on my YouTube channels, Above Life Channel, and the Fairy Grasshopper, that is Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube.